Hello, everybody. Welcome back to BFL Games. Welcome to the finale of Princess Beach Showtime. A surprise. Not the best game of the year. But definitely a good game of the year. A good game of the year. <laughs> all right, well, that sounds a bit dismissive. I like this game. I'm definitely glad I picked this game up. Of all the games to come out this year, it is certainly a game. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up our 100% completion today. Exciting stuff. It's bright. My game is bright. Why my game so bright right now? Hold up. I got my settings on my TV wrong, bro. Alright, whatever. That's just what we gonna go to. It's yellow as hell in here, dog. I'm hearing myself so loud right now. <laughs> okay, okay, now we're good. Uh, up to, what are we on? Floor 3 right now? Uh, we unlocked an additional, uh, presumably final floor. And then uh, we still obviously have to clear out the basement. Uh, Sparkle Theater, we've done this one. So we've got one final floor. And then we have the basement. So we really are here in the final stretch for sure. I did this, right? Yeah, the Kung Fu rehearsal was like the easiest one. Very yellow, absolutely. I don't know why it was so yellow. What's good, Alex, Ariel, and Spacey? How y'all doing? And Rick Sor, how you doing, dog? All right, let's see. We got Kung Fu 2. We've got uh, Sentai 2. Oh, short floor. Oh, only four on this floor. Real short floor, huh? Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty short stream today. That's fine because I feel kind of sick. So four levels, four basement levels, and a final boss. Were there not four on the other ones? I thought that there were like, were there only four? I thought there were more. Oh, it was maybe five. I don't know. Let me check. Yeah, it's only four for, per level. I, I guess I was just tripping. <laughs> I, I was tripping. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. What the hell? That's a lot more than four left on the basement. Did I leave some? I must have left some in the basement. Okay, I didn't do all the basement stuff last stream because I was... Yeah, I ended up just uh, picking everything up. Am I doing okay? I don't know. I, my stomach was feeling a little weird. Had a little bit of a headache. Like, I'm chill. I'm not, like, dying, but I felt better. Now, what's going to be the lamest? Mermaid. Let's get Mermaid out of the way. Showtime. It's showtime. I don't know. Mermaid level one, I think, was the weakest. But the level twos, like, they kind of step it up a little bit. The Blight of the Sea, by the way. Well, at least get some some singing, probably some music, some epic tunes. Oh, five FPS loading screen. How I missed you. What's good, Spacey? Help me! Someone, anyone. Get me out of here? How do, how do I? Oh, wow. They said the Wander song. Plagiarism? We're just going to quadruple down on that. That's crazy, bro. We got to get some fish. <laughs> there we are. Fishy friend? We laugh and we play now. You like Wonder Song Arc? <laughs> Your internet kind of poofed out on the Wonder Song section the last time, but it seems like uh, we're going even harder on it this time. It's crazy, bro. Oh, oh early ribbon. The music is uh. 
pretty nice. I'm liking the vibes. It's, I don't know, it's a little ominous with the all the feats and the, uh, the shadows and whatnot. We're all feeling terrible. Me too, Mrs. Thiet. I'm back to normal. Amazing. Now I feel great. All that ship's fault. I knew it. All right, let me scan the rest of the floor. All right, we'll hit this up. Hit the spotlight. What's good, Kopi? How's everybody been doing this week? How's everybody's week been? <laughs> we did it. Is there more? Ah. I'm so sleepy. Oh my god. It's interesting that these guys are just like... This is a different kind of magic than what we've been seeing, dog. Like, they're not just corrupted and becoming evil little freaks. They're like... Put into a state of suffering. Like, you know, the guys on the cooking level, they're zombies and everything. These guys are just getting hit with, like, the depression gun, like, ultimate. Like that... Not to be like the the one, you know, guy who's only seen Boss Baby. And though I'm not gonna say Evangelion. It's like the Depression Tower cannonball episode of uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. When the scientist created Depression Cannonballs and was... <laughs> and Howl's Moving Castle being just like a emotional terrorist. Whoa. Time section? I'll help you out. I want to make sure I get all these clams, too. I wonder what happens if you fall behind. Oh, yo, you tried to block my ass, bro. Yo! Okay, so you cannot get blocked. We don't need that money. Ultimately. Who even cares? <laughs> I, I, I took damage. Okay, okay. That's actually good, I think. Because uh, we were kind of falling back behind there. You thought I was going to say Danganronpa? Not everything is Danganronpa. Sorry about that, Ark. Not everything can be Danganronpa. No matter how much we wish. Is, uh, is, is AI the Somnium Files made by the same people who made Danganronpa, by the way? Or is it just, like, similar in gameplay, similar in genre? I don't go there. I don't play those kinds of games. Oh. All right, all right. We can get both. We can get both. Don't lose a thief. That's fine if we take a hit. Like, we, we took the hit. The setback is kind of crazy. <laughs> all right, maybe maybe I don't want to get sandwiched behind the walls. Maybe I should be paying a little more, more attention. Same publisher, different devs. Okay, okay, so similar. Does that, that publisher go for that kind of vibe? Is that what they're going for? We want to be corked up. Is Danganronpa even, like, funny? Is that even, like, a comedy series, or is it just, like, insane? Because I, I watched the first season of the anime. It's got to be, like, kind of funny, right? It's, like, funny at least a little bit on purpose. All that humor ain't happening on accident. It's a little funny. What is with you? You're so annoying. Oh, yo, mini boss? Get out of here. 
Do my fish deflect? No. Alright, just let him expel all his options. And then we move in for the kill. <laughs> Get evaporated, idiot. This level is actually kind of beautiful, by the way. I didn't really care for the first one, but this is like... The moving of it, the music... We're only halfway through, though. I'm feeling, like, a little artistically enriched right now. Double team. What? Just move in for it? I was waiting for him to start shooting. Oh, he's so tight. Get in there, bro. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if I had a limited amount of time to get that guy. Oh, wow. The slow reveal of the dilapidated ship? This shit is dope. The anime is a bad adaptation. Even season one? I like season one. It was, uh... Something. <laughs> That's for sure. Yo, that was actually a pretty well-hidden one. Damn. I have no fish. There's no season two. There is a season three. <laughs> In fact, there might even be two season threes. <laughs> if we could somehow destroy this cage. I got you. Two entire season threes. Yeah, that's when I was like, oh, this is a, like a dumb series. <laughs> All right, we can only move big boy. Yee! How did, literally, how did I miss one? Those masked goons are still up ahead. Let's work together and restore the ocean. I know exactly where it is. It's down that grate over there. Please don't tell me I locked out. Peach, stop moving. No, no, I know where it is. Damn it. Ah. <sighs> I'm supposed to... Okay. This is just like Persona. The ocean is all ours. Not if I can help it. We can take it back with the power of song. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I missed one. All right, so first we were ripping off uh, Wander Song. Now we're ripping off Undying the Undying. <laughs> They're crazy. Oh, they cannot resist the power of music, baby. That's just art. I did miss one, though. <laughs> actually, actually good, uh, good level two for Mermaid. I'll, I'll give it up. I'll give him credit where it's due. And those are easy pickups. Ooh, Mermaid Stella. This sounds appealing. So are you guys hip to the Hatsune Miku controversy? <laughs> Y'all seen what they did to my girl Miku? 
Bro, at the Miko Expo. People paid like two got like two hundred dollar tickets to the Miku show. It's supposed to be like crazy. They got the hologram set up. Dude, it's a it's a controversy. So the Miku Expo, they always have like holograms and it's like super like high quality. Like the the budget is insane, the set is insane. Like, yes, you're you're paying to see like a, a hologram, but there's like a live band. It's a huge, huge show. With like crazy production value. This year? They did the first show at the Miku Expo. They wheeled out like a like a six foot by six foot LED screen and put it in the middle of the stage. And that was that was what the, that was the Miku they got. People were pissed, bro. You get like a side seat you can't even see her. She can't like go side to side like and up and down because it's a small little screen. Bro, people are Dude, I'm surprised you guys haven't heard of it. I guess like I'm just like kind of in that, you know, circle, but like I've been seeing it on TikTok, Twitter, people are pissed. It's crazy. Someone was like, "We need to organize a walkout." But yeah, this is more Wonder Song. They're like, we need to organize a walkout for the next show if they wheel out the screen. It's like, bro, I bought the tickets. I ain't doing no walkout. I support you on principle, but if I was going, I would still be getting the best bang for my buck, you know? We just left all of them to die. Luckily, never heard about this. To be fair, I think it just happened like yesterday or maybe two days ago. It's very recent, very developing. But if you know any Vocaloid fans, uh, check up on them. Also, the guy who married Hatsune Miku recently posted on Twitter. I don't know if he's always active there, but he definitely showed up. He married Miku many years ago. I don't know how many, like five. He's just hanging out with Miku. He's living his best life. He said, uh, if you decide to marry a fictional character to contact him, he would love to have a discussion with you. How many people have married Miku? Legally? That's a good question. I don't know. Because this guy, I, I believe he is legally married to Miku. Is he? Is How would that work? Is that guy legally married to Miku? All right, here we have an article from September 2023. 20, okay, I just saw a term. Just saw a term. We'll reject those cookies. Akihiko Kondo credits fictional pop star Hatsune Miku with saving him at the lowest point in his life. And now he wants to fight discrimination against fictosexuals. Okay. Hmm. That's a term. They got married in 2018, so it's been six years. They're going strong. I've never had a real girlfriend or lover, but I've had a number of girlfriends who were characters from anime or computer games. When I met Hatsune Miku, I was on leave because I was being bullied at work. I was sad and I cried every day. At the most difficult time in my life, Hatsune Miku was the one who supported me. She saved me. My mother did not approve. My sister and her husband did not agree with me either. They did not come to my wedding. Damn. Hmm. I hope he's happy, I guess. I Would you go to the, the Miku wedding if your homie was, like, doing that? Like, I just made it sad for myself because it's always been, like, a funny haha -ha thing. It's like a meme. The guy married Miku, but I don't know. I just read the article, and that shit made me sad, kind of. <laughs> It just it just hit me for the first time. It just became real. This shit kind of just bump, killed my vibe. 
What the hell? That was a new one. If you were asked to attend, you might, but like, what if he says like, hey, you're my best man, like, can you say a few words? What you pulling out? <clears throat> Do you think he like programmed like... Do you think he programmed like little, uh, vows? Do you think he made her say vows? With like her Vocaloid software. What's good, Bingus? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely down there. It's where we want to be. $60 Wonder Song goes crazy, bro. Give me your fishies. Come this way, fishies. Thank you, fishies. Alright, we're in the end game. We just, like, need to not screw up on the, uh, the final rhythm game. <laughs> I don't think you need a hologram to marry them. I don't think you need anything to marry them. I mean, this guy just committed to the bit a little- like, everyone has a waifu, you know? This guy just committed to the bit a little more passionately than most. Just give up now. This ocean is all ours. This shit's so cute. Who's my waifu? I would say I don't have a waifu right now, to be honest. There was there was a time in my life where I would have had an answer for that. No longer. Oh, happy birthday, Bingus! Everyone, sing happy birthday to Bingus. Oh, okay, that was the one I missed, but we got it that time. I have implanted a microphone and everybody who's ever tuned into any of my streams is a keyboard. So if you're not singing, I will know and I will ban you. Get to it. Y'all shit is tapped. What's good, Ochi? Feels like it's been a while, Ochi. That's perfection, baby. You tried to watch some Danganronpa on Crunchyroll? Speaking of uh, Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll is actually the ones behind this Miku, uh, this Miku festival that is so disastrous right now. People are blaming Crunchy Crunchyroll. I don't think uh, Crunchyroll usually has any affiliation. The first time Crunchyroll is involved, this happens. Also, also, Miku is, is slated to perform at Coachella, I think. So people are saying perhaps the, the good setup is, in Co is, is, is being prepped for Coachella. And that's why they got garbage. I don't know. You have your anime crushes, but it doesn't mean you'd marry them. That's what I said. I think everyone's got their waifus. I this guy is just like way more committal, right? Like, there are definitely some anime that I've spent like a lot of money on. You know, when I was in high school, like I was all about like the etchy harem shows, right? That was my my shit. Watching Heaven's Lost Property and. <laughs> What, what was it? Rosario Vampire. All all the classics. Um, There's something else, probably. What was another one I liked? Well, I mean, High School of the Dead, like, on God, like, besides Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! High School of the Dead was the first anime I ever saw. 
I saw it on YouTube and like I was in middle school, probably like the sixth or seventh grade. I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was mesmerized. Do they have one projector that every show has to share? I don't know, dog. I like I'm I know about Miku, but I'm not in the Miku sauce like that. You got anything new? Ooh. We'll put the spot lion on just because I don't think we've ever equipped that one. Mermaid ribbon? Eh. Detective ribbon is so ugly, I can't even believe they would give you that. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. We'll leave Stella as is. I think actually every Stella co cosmetic is like wildly disappointing. Peach has some good stuff. Like the bulk of it isn't for me, but I appreciate the diversity and she has many hits. Stella is lacking. I feel better since I started streaming. I was feeling kind of sick earlier, but I feel a lot better now. <sighs> Divine. Divine. Yay, you're joining our parade? Sure. Get out of here. He ain't hurt nobody. Oh, great. They just want to show off. They just want to perform. We can't have a parade with them around. All right, I've been like team feet the whole game. But like, they seem problematic to me right now. I don't see what these guys did. They're not even aggressive. They're just vibing. What the hell? All right, I'll kill them. I will murder them for the crime of, I guess, existing where the, the Thetes would like to exist. They're not allowed to do that. Congrats, Peach. <laughs> she said that was brilliant. Damn, girl. Thank you. Let's restart the parade. <laughs> Jesus. You're looking forward to our performance on the main venue. Time to have some fun. Oh shit, wait. I'm supposed to do stuff on those. Okay. Ooh, all right, cutting it close. <laughs> Not these guys again. How many freaking feet do I gotta kill, bro? I hate this play. <laughs> it's Madam Grape and the Sour Bunch. Is it Madam? Did I get it right? I think it's Madam Grape. <laughs> crazy stuff. Is the Sour Bunch really that crazy? You think it's Mommy Grape? I don't know about that one. Looks like we... Oh, oh, wow. So if they're spinning, you can't do nothing. You just gotta let them spin it out. Seems like we may have a fictosexual in our midst. What's good, gay bat? You missed uh, some riveting conversation, dog. You're welcome, Miss Feet. Thanks for the love. All right, let's try and be on our shit this time. You have to assume you can miss no prompts. Maybe we don't need to clear out the Sour Bunch peeps up top. But even if we do, now I'm on top of it. I was I was behind from the very beginning.
How do you even get up there? There was a, uh... Shit. There was a jump prompt at that, uh... At this. Maybe you hit the jump prompt. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Get the hell off our raft. They're trying to crash the pride parade. Let's dance together. Ooh. Yee. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, homies. Whoa, they just stopped. That's scary. Double kill. Oh, I see. I'm filling her up. Don't be scared, brother. We'll kill them. I get that ribbon. What? What? Oh. Swag, bro. Strike a pose. First try. Time for the finale. We've arrived at the main menu. Uh oh. Sorry for the wait. Looks like it's up to me to finish this parade. No. Hey, this parade's for everyone. Except the Sour Bunch. These thieves are hateful, man. These thieves are a hateful crew. I don't know if I've ever even eaten a peach straight up. It feels too fast paced. The anime. Sure. Valid. The killing scenes were cool. Does a waifu have to be anime based? Uh, no, but I would say that they have to be either fictitious or like a mascot. Right? Trying to mess everything up against again, Peach. Like a VTuber is a real person, but they are also a mascot. So one could have a VTuber as a waifu. But if you say, "Oh, Pokemon is my waifu," which is probably something someone has said, I don't know. You just do sound a bit more deranged to me. That goes just like a little bit beyond what I'm comfortable with and she might deserve a restraining order now you say Amelia Watson is my Oshi and my waifu she's probably like laughing at you as soon as the stream goes off but I mean like nothing problematic's happening there Asami Sato that's so boring Gabat you're so boring you're so typical Did he dab? <laughs> Time for the true finale. Uh-oh. Kind of a banger track. Get tricked on, idiot. We just embarrassed you in front of all these thieves. I want that one. Oh, yeah, beat ya. Send him right into the wall. Damn, one left. Yeah. Like 
<laughs> your frame rate what's going on what how all right we need to flex on them as a squad circle them predate upon this fellow epic you thought this was a judgment free zone who said that <laughs> Who said this was that? <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice. Stella Ribbon. I can tell you. Ta Taiga Isaka does go hard, but there is a sequel. Uh, visual no, no there's a visual novel that might be a sequel or it might just contain an epilogue for Tora Dora and I think she gets pregnant with triplets <laughs> which is in the epilogue which is crazy it's just like a crazy ending like out of nowhere when personally I envisioned her as a character that would I don't know have some issues when it came to parenthood Considering her uh, her uh, her daddy issues that are quite prominent, rainbow snowflake level. Oh shit! Hey, life is strange, devs, with the subliminal messaging in this bitch. Showtime. Crazy that as soon as the life is strange uh, brain rot hit me full force, it was starting to seep in. Uh, that bombshell of an article dropped. So for those who are not like aware, let me let me give a rundown of what's happening at Don't Nod Studios, the people that have made half of the current Life is Strange games and are responsible for its future. You got your standard like developer stuff. Everyone's overworked. There's harassment. <laughs> Unfortunate, horrible, but I mean, like, what do you expect, right? I mean, we should expect better, but if you're being a realist, crunch happens. Shitty people are protected by higher-ups. Let me talk about this before we get into it. Um, but then, uh, there's, like, someone who works on the team, and they kept, like, plugging, like, racist shit in, and, like, dropping, like, racist memes and stuff in the code. Like sprinkling some 1488s, hitting like with some like uh like 4chan, like you know, uh I don't even know how to describe it. It's like racist ass like Wojax and stuff. And then uh people were reporting it and it was like nothing was happening about it. The person if they were found was being protected. And then Square Enix was like, listen. We don't want this franchise to be known as the gay game. Like we don't want Life is Strange to be the gay game. Which is crazy. I believe it was Square Enix London that was saying this. They said we don't want that like label up on this franchise. You stupid? <laughs> That's really the only response to that. Jesus. <laughs> At least Blizzard, Activision, and EA make games that suck. <laughs> Square Enix, uh, I don't know anything about the different branches of Square Enix, to be honest. Also, what is there to boycott? Like, I already bought, like, everything Life is Strange. I own all that shit. Also, I mean, there's still good stories, I would say, and they're made by people who care. It's just the executives. If I boycotted every company that had bad people running the shit behind the scenes, I'd be living in a hut in the middle of the woods made by my own hands and never interacting with society. Everyone sucks. Wasn't Life is Strange a little racist? I think Life is Strange 2 was kind of, yeah. But that was not Don't Nod. That was uh, the other studio. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Get bold. I saved you people. 
Please save my children. Oh, that guy got white. He got washed. <laughs> Did I just find a secret? Is that a secret? I think this is a secret. I think I just found a secret. I'm buried in pots. Uh, remove the S and <laughs> then we're talking. <laughs> Am I right, gamers? Help me! Why are they kidnapping children, by the way? Hold up, I missed the inciting incident. <laughs> it's just like a lot. This is kind of heavy, bro. Don't let him escape! Alright, alright, we're going a little too quick. I know we probably... Exactly. About to say, we probably ran past one. Is it all of them? No, just the one? Interesting. Yeah, Square Enix leaning into the AI is weird, too. It's weird that they sold, like, so many... Oh, shit. Square Enix sold so many of their, uh properties, but Life is Strange is one of the ones that they decided to keep. Always found that a little, uh... I oh, don't know, a little surprising, I suppose. Alright, no spotlights. Oh my god. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I really need much more money at this point. No spotlight. It's a damn banger I'm listening to right now. That's where I saw an upstairs spotlight. And the inciting, like, uh, reveal of the level. Aren't you bold? Come on! Read that come on in a Captain Falcon. <laughs> they, they were bouncing around like little... <laughs> Dog toys, bro. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Give me that kid. Don't you dare swipe me away, child. I'm out of you. Is Lost Records doomed? Why would Lost Records be doomed? That has nothing to do with, uh, don't nod. No, it is don't nod. It's the other one that was, has the issues. Oops. Deck nine. Deck nine is the one that has the internal issues. Don't nod also probably does. But the recent article was, uh, about deck nine. Do-do-do. Uh, yeah, Life is Strange True Colors is, uh, I mean, by by the player base, it's widely, like, Life is Strange 2 is divisive. I would say even before the storm is kind of divisive. True Colors is, like, pretty, like, universally acclaimed by its player base. So we meet again. I'll show you the meaning of pain. Back up, bro. Whoa! Get him out of here. Bounce him off the walls. He's back. Playtime is over for now. Poppy playtime. <laughs> I like that sound effect. Bonk, bonk, bonk. But, uh... True Colors was like the most successful week one uh, for any, or, or no, for, it was the most successful fiscally first month for any uh, Life is Strange game. However, the other ones were like, you know, episodic releases while True Colors was just a, uh, like a straight up release. So you can definitely attribute that to part of it, but yeah, True Colors did well. Life is Strange 2 was a flop. That game did not perform 
<laughs> like they wanted it to. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be a hater, and I know people do like it, and I like parts of it, but like, maybe, maybe that's for the better. <laughs> Kill them! Give me the child. You're welcome, kiddo. Thank God we didn't miss nothing. Aqua for waifu? Where's the Terra love, huh? Hera's not your waifu? I will say this. Husbando is a sauceless term. It just doesn't have... I don't know, it just doesn't have... It, it just doesn't hit for me. You appreciate himbos? Not as waifus? Slash husbandos? Sure. Yeah, Gaybat wants to uh, not voice an opinion on Life is Strange. At the risk of influencing me in some way. Kill that guy! Thanks, kid. Really? There's nothing hidden behind those? K-Bat was the same for uh, Life is Strange 2. Though uh, I do have a bit of a suspicion that K-Bat probably likes true colors a bit more than uh, <laughs> Life is Strange 2. One of the most underrated uh, funnier parts about the whole uh, recent controversy with, you know, the Life is Strange studio and whatnot is that uh, they said Alex Chen from Life is Strange True Colors was this, the series' first bisexual uh, main character, which is which is just funny. That's funny. <laughs> that, that was a funny statement. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you play the games? <laughs> did, did, did you play the games, dog? That's all of them. Oh my god. Platforming in My Princess Peach Showtime? Is this the correct way? Ah. I didn't want to go out there. That's progress. Cool. Hella bread. Maybe Max was Pan? Be for real with me right now. And yeah, it is Thimbo, Gaybat. This is a ter This is this is a real term. I've seen Thimbo Thimbo used uh in fact even in some songs. I know some songs that use the word Thimbo. Get out of here, brat! Alright, kid. I saved the whole squad. If you don't save one of the children, they just die. They're dead forever. Please. Useless, all of you. Still not gonna do a voice. Ah, let's see how you handle this. Oh my god, he got dark magic. Oops. Didn't handle it too well. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! Get him the hell out of here. Shaka bra. <laughs> Thimbo is a psych. The fuck am I listening to? Okay, so. Mr. I don't listen to music. I want to listen to 100 albums. I mentioned a. Uh, 
a, a queer song by a queer artist and apparently is some objection objectionable fucking psychotic shit. Thought it was himbo or bimbo? There's also thimbos. <laughs> you don't think bimbo is used playfully? Bimbo has been reclaimed. I don't know where you're at. Bim bimbo is also like <laughs> really fetishized. There's like bimbofication shit. You all ever seen that? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said anything about that. <laughs> yeah, bimbo definitely doesn't hit the same way as, as uh, himbo does, though, for sure. It, it, it's it, if you're calling a girl a bimbo, that's weird. Don't do that. If she calls herself a bimbo, then that's like Yas Queen Slay, you know? You mean it's the same thing? But it's not. Like, himbo is a relatively recent term. At least in its current iteration. And it's also... Himbo is usually used as a term of endearment, while bimbo has, like, largely been insulting. Also, probably don't call guys himbos to their faces. Well, most people using these term, the term himbo are not, like, interacting with uh, people face-to-face -face ever anywhere, right? Holy shit, we're in space! <laughs> they abducted our scientists! They must be planning to use our research! You gotta rescue them! Here they come. Prepare for battle. Oh, yo, I just noticed the ground. Oh, man. The presentation of this game is so pleasant. Let me go. <laughs> the squad is under attack. Kill them all. Spare nobody. No, no, uh, no mercy. <laughs> uh, no mercy? Undertale reference? Above you. Oh, damn. Oh, well, we missed our first enemy. <laughs> okay, I guess they're safe. They're kind of just wandering around on... Oh, no. Oh, you bitch. Get it off! Alright, we're gonna have to replay this one. I guess I could just die on purpose, probably. Kill me. Let's see what that does. Do you for real restart all the way at the beginning? Damn, this is kind of a long ass session. Or a section. I guess you're probably not going to be dying usually in this spot, right? They became failed. Failed on purpose. You would do many things for ice cream. Yeah. God, I kind of want fucking Dairy Queen right now. I haven't had Dairy Queen in so long. I don't know what it is about their Sundays, but it's just so creamy, you know? You got halfway through the money store? Give me your, uh, your, uh, your first impressions on what you heard. First half of money store. Um,. Get got, obviously. I think I've seen footages in the first half there. What else? What else? He's taking hits. Hold up. Can this dude die? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just almost drove into lasers. The only track that I don't love on that album would be, uh, Fuck That. 
think that song is bad. Not, not, it's not good. Some highlights would be everything else. Especially right now, like it's one, one of those albums where like, you know, thoughts vary every time I listen to it because it's very good and diverse, but Hacker is always top tier. System Blower. Bitch Please is fun. Of course, uh, I've seen footage as an all-timer. Just like half the album is perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. The home world of the Darkles. You will not reach the planet. No choice but to fight, as I've already killed hundreds. Get that shit out of here, brother. Get him out of here! Wait, hold up. Are we about to destroy the planet? Okay, I thought we were going to throw it into, like, the surface of the planet and destroy their planet. <laughs> Princess Peach is planet level, bro. Are we invading their planet? We're landing on their planet. Are we the baddies? You like get got? I'm here. It got's good. We'll search for their base from the sky. Copy that. We should search to the surface. Be careful as you move ahead, okay? Bitch please just opens so good. Bitch please, you must be smoking rocks real shit. <laughs> Great eggs, you won't get past us. Yo, they got they got shanks. Well, they fucked around and they found out. You rocked. Idiots. I gotta look, make sure I'm not missing no poses. Is there a charge punch? That? Is there a charge punch in the flying section? Because if so, I didn't know. I'm sorry, the Sour Bunch, Darkles, Sparkle... The shit gets mixed up for me, man. There's so much going on here. Alright, missing... <laughs> okay, got him. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. This is a well-maintained road. I mean, the base is up ahead. Bro really came and said, wow, the Sour Bunch, like, their engineering is impressive. Oops. Don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I ain't got nothing to throw right now. You will not reach the base. All your base are belong to us. Idiot. Dumbass. Stupid. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fuck. Uh, let's go. Moided. Oh, I knew there was something here. Give me them coins. Why do I even want coins? Uh, yeah, no issues for the YouTube music app for me, and I use it for hours uh, every day. We're here to save you! They came to rescue us. You cannot save them. We'll see about that.
Hey, 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 hey. What? Drop the feet. Idiot. I can't tear this open? Save them. Save the boys. They got glasses on. They're our scientists. Nerds. Glad to see everyone's safe. Excellent work. Um, about that. You cannot have them. Oh, shit. Oh, no, he's turning into a mecha. Is just arms enough for that qualification? Mm. Professor. So are ours. You think you can handle this for us? Absolutely. I'm goaded. I'm giant? Oh, shit. Eliminate the threat. I'm unstoppable, you say. Fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Bowling for grapes. Oh, he got pissed. Oh. <laughs> Just keep throwing him. <laughs> I love how everything she just throws, like, pounds down, punches, destroys with cars, but when it comes to that guy, it's always just a toss. She tosses him away. He has to be a little, like, uncharacteristically violent if she, like, wormed her fingers down in between the panels and, like, shredded them apart. <laughs> the mixes are repetitive and awful. See, for me, YouTube music, uh... It's introduced me to so many of my favorite artists, to be honest. I was listening to uh, the music on the way home. I listened to the song Creep for the first time in full. Uh, not a cover. Usually, if I listen to Creep, I might, I might catch some flack for this. It's a cover done by a VTuber. <laughs> but I listened to the official Creep track today. That's odd. Normally, one of those dark doors would be popping up now. First time. Yeah. I was also listening to All of You uh, by, uh, what's his name? By Sid Matters. It's the song from the beginning of Life is Strange 1, because like I said, my brain rot has kicked in. To all of you American girls, I want to... I don't, I don't remember the lyrics, but I know that the, the To All of You hits, and I'm like, oh... Does this mean the grape completed her preparations and that the theater's done for? But maybe there's something we haven't considered yet. Yeah, there's got to be something. There's a number of songs called Creep. Are there? Oh, we haven't all rescued all the sparkles. We can't do anything here. The next logical place is in the basement. Let's go. All right. Um, it's the one where he goes, I'm a creep. That's the one, Ario. Come on, dog. Creep? What song could you ever be referring to? The fucking song where you says, I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. 
I want a perfect body. I want a perfect soul. That's like half the lyrics in the song right there. There you go. Where do we want to go first? We'll just start here and work our way around. Yes, the radio had one. <laughs> what other creeps are there? ELC has a creep track? How does it go? Every cover of Creep is insufferable. Uh, that that is done by VTubers, not because the the cover is bad. The cover is usually phenomenal, but everyone in the comments is like, "Oh, at this timestamp right here, there's a slight quiver in the voice, and you can tell how emotionally devastated my my Oshi was in this moment." <laughs> it's like, all right, all right, all right. Like we passed. I, she, Stella said something. I didn't see it. Like we passed parasocial with this one. <laughs> There's the Lonely Island one? On the I've never seen Book of Life. Mm. Alright, there should be a sparkler somewhere in here too. We got ribbons and five gems. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Lonely Island. I remember the first time I heard the song Jizz in my pants. I didn't know what jizz meant, so I was like singing it in front of my grandma and shit. Whoa, what's this? Let's try going inside. Psych. What? There's a perfect spot for a spotlight, dog. I jizzed in my pants? Well, not on accident. Uh, <laughs> not really on purpose, either. <laughs> you must be. Hmm, my luck has entirely run out. There are four locks. Can you unlock them? Yeah. You let Jizz die rip? It's not dying. I guess it is. It's not thriving, that's for damn sure. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Whoa, the air was crazy there, girl. That Darkwing Duck. Jim who? Jim what? Oh my god, there's a lot of doors here. A lot of paths. But I think I found the right one. Wahahaha. <clears throat> <laughs> Well, it's not going so smooth right now, dog. Hey, yo, we missed one. This must be the right way to progress, then. So I'm gonna go back up if I can. Yeah, I can. Cool, cool, cool. Cause we like kind of passed up two doors. Thing is, they gave me like options, dog. I don't like options. They scare me. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. What is happening right now? That's a new door, I think. <laughs> yeah! Alright, door, door one down. Dog, we're gonna have to replay this one. To all of you. Hey, this is kind of cool, though. I kind of like how uh, open this is. Feels like a video game or some shit. <laughs> Kind of giving me like FOMO though, man. I need, need those. And those. Oh, you suck so bad, so bad. 
I'm goaded. Damn. All right, now I'm dead. <laughs> what song? Creep by Radiohead? Is that the song you're talking about, Spacey? I know Rocket Raccoon had that one on the playlist. I've, I, I, could, I couldn't name another Radiohead song besides Creep, if I'm being honest. I'm sorry. We're good now. Okay, there's probably just one gym in each spot and then the one for the boss, so I think we're good. I wonder what would have been behind those other doors. Real red herring stuff. They're, like, taking advantage of this, like... This weird, like, fucked up dimension here better than any of the other stuff was. Oi. Oh my god. This is just, like, into the Spider-Verse. What am I doing here, man? Being stupid. Reap by Radiohead? That's a classic. That I have heard. <laughs> I did run it back to back, by the way. So I'll give it that, you know. I gave it the two time. It was pretty good. Maybe that song is, like, you know, pretty famous for a good reason or something. You know, I used to be, like, so obsessed with Breaking Benjamin when I was in middle school. Anybody knows them? They did that one song for, like, Halo 3 or something. They fall in line, one at a time. Oh man, I can't start over? Ready to play. Fire your guns, it's time to roll. Blow me away. That song? Y'all know that song? What's y'all know about Breaking Benjamin? I can't get back up. Yeesh. Oi. Oh. Hey, no. I'm gonna die. <laughs> See, I thought maybe a sparkle gem would be hidden up here. I ain't seen one yet. I would be remiss if I did not mention the Diary of Jane. Shit just hits different when you're 12 years old. Being honest. Oh, it's still going. Oh, sheesh. Oh, holding on, holding on. Wait, 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 wait. The damage was worth it. No. Kill me. Oh, never mind. Yeah, wait. No, yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <clears throat> you should give another chance to artists you don't like in the playlist. Add 10,000 gex, dog. Not, not 1,000 gex. I wouldn't put that on you. Add 10,000. It's super approachable, Ariel. For, like, most of the tracks. Even though it does have their, like... They, it does have, like, their millennial bait song. But, like, you're a millennial, so maybe you'll get a giggle out of it. Damn, he's good. Sorry, frog on the floor. You probably won't like it. You you will probably like at least Billy Knows Jamie. I can promise you 10,000 Gex is not what you're expecting. It's their follow-up album, dog. 1,000 Gex is what you're expecting. Yeah. 
We just gotta be a little faster here. All right, that's my auto hook got me. See you, Spacey. I don't think I've ever listened to a Frank Ocean song, by the way. Also, Ariel, if you don't like 10,000 Gex, then, uh... Sorry, sorry, brother, you're transphobic, and we might have to ban you from the chat. <laughs> Ooh. Aw, oh, boo. That'd be too easy if that worked. What? Wait. Let's go. You'll send me some Frank Ocean tracks? Sure. I was about to say something, and then I was like, that might be mean. <laughs> I'll, re I'll refrain from what I was going to say. What's this way? Dude, my instincts kicked in. Excuse me? God damn, I'm good, brother. Time to hack. You missed music talk, Ark. Incredible, all that's left is the central lock. I don't remember what he sounded like earlier. Yes. Opting to not state your music opinions? Let me guess. Video game soundtracks. And that's it. <laughs> it was harrowing, but kind of fun, hmm? What? So, so there was a trap after all. First, let's get back to the surface. Help me out, brother. We're gonna kill it. He's got a green mustache. Not good. This whole place is falling apart. Let's head this way. There's a lock up there. He's gonna take care of it. He's got crazy hops. He can jump way better than I can. Easy. Damn. Yo! Came at me quick, brother. I didn't consent to the elevator. What the hell? How does that even make sense? We gotta sync up. <laughs> Let's go! Wait, okay. I thought he was giving me a sparkle. No boss? Is it just gonna be an escape sequence? Grand escape, huh? Do I get a sparkle gem? Yo! Wait. I've gotten no ribbon. can't go backwards at all. Yes. Don't fall? Sure, brother. What the hell? <laughs> I almost fell? <laughs> oh my god. An updraft. Let's use it. And jump. They're so swagalicious. Do, 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 do. Now, where the hell could the ribbon have possibly been there? Thank you. You don't need the ribbons for completion, do you? Pogo, Mystery Skulls, Caravan Palace. Are these like bands? Are these genres? <laughs> what are those? Next time, we'll infiltrate their evil lair together. 
Sure, bud. Um, I guess we'll run that one real quick and try and find the, uh, try and find the ribbon while I'm familiar with it. Do, 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 do. How do I not know mystery skulls? Bro, what do you want from me? Let me look up damn mystery skulls. Wait, why do I feel like you guys had me look up mystery skulls before? Y'all had me look this up before, I think. Because this looks familiar. Why does it look like this? <laughs> Never mind. All right. I retract my statement. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm try not trying to make no enemies. Holy shit. Let me lay it out for you, Ariel. So, 100 Gex is the band. 100 Gex is also the name of their debut EP, which was self-titled. You would not like that. Their first uh, studio album is, 10, is 1,000 Gex, because it's the first 100 Gex album, and there's 10 songs. 100 times 10... That's a thousand. So a thousand gex is their first album. Their second album is uh, ten more tracks. What's ten thousand gex times ten? One hundred one. No. What's one thousand gex times ten? Ten thousand gex. So you presume that their third studio album will probably be one hundred thousand gex, which uh, can't come quick enough. There's also a remix album. Mm -hmm. If you if you actually want to dip your toes into into 100 Gex for some reason, uh, they have a a mix of a Lincoln Park song. What is it? A bet closer. Let me look it up. I think it's closer. Yeah, One Step Closer is the name of it. My bad, my bad. That's a banger track. Also, the... Uh, so that's like a good good song. It's, it's pretty accessible. It's a Linkin Park track with some Gex flair on it. There's also... Uh, they have a Fallout Boy feature on a remix on their remix album. But that one... Uh, that song gets a little wacky. So, uh... 
it's a good song but i feel weird talking about like 100 gex because i real talk i don't even feel like their music's like that weird but that's just because like i'm pretty entrenched in that genre in that scene so if you never listen to any shit like that you're gonna be like what the fuck is this so and, and i hate like music fans because they're always like <laughs> You think that that's... You think that that music is abrasive? And it's... And it's like... It's like 10 minutes of like... Industrial sounds and like a woman screaming looped at like 2.5 times speed. And like car alarms going off. And you're like... <laughs> you think that that's abrasive? You haven't even heard of... a uh, Machine Gun Abortion... Volume 3 which is a 10 hour compilation of and it's like bro the normal person is gonna listen to this shit and think it's heavy and weird all right like be like fucking normal stop being like online for five seconds i don't see why it's so hard to just like look at music from like a normie perspective why do who are we fooling i don't remember which way i went last time <laughs> i don't think i went this way i think i went the other way so Music snobs can be annoying. Oh. That's not progress at all. Okay. Only one. I just saw him. He was on the right. <laughs> I'm so goaded, bro. I'm so goaded. Give me that. All right, let's speed run this bit. One step closer to the edge. No, stop. And I'm about to break. Just for the record, because I love to to use gamers as a scapegoat. There's nothing wrong with listening to video game OSTs. I do think if you limit yourself only to that, then you're perhaps doing yourself a bit of a disservice. But if that's what you like to listen to, then, I mean, that's fine. Listen to what you want to listen to. It's just, like, people who only listen to, like, video game OSDs can be, like, kind of weird about it sometimes. <laughs> Usually they're weird about rap music. That's all I'll say about that. You're like, oh, did you listen to uh, the new Kendrick Lamar album? Like, um... Ooh, mm, no. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, you can just say no. We don't need to be weird about it. You don't need to, like, get, like... We don't need to make everyone in the room uncomfortable because I, <laughs> cause I mentioned rap music, okay? Like, let's chill. Go listen to fucking, you know, Super Mario Sunshine track number six. <laughs> uh... Uh, no, you can't quit out. I don't know if I ever said it on stream, but I tried it off stream. Anime music? Is that what we're calling anime music now? Prague? What, what, what's the, uh, what's the one, the one song? Is it YYZ? When they hit the Johnny Test whip crack? That track goes so hard. I love that song. It's a, maybe a, maybe a weird uh, association here. I've always associated that song with Ponyo because the song is like Morse code and I heard the song for the first time the day that I watched Ponyo and there's a scene in that movie where they do Morse code in the lighthouse. So I've always associated the song YYZ with uh, Ponyo. Whenever I listen to that song, I just see Ponyo in my head. Like a very weird mental association I've never been able to shake. Whoa. Okay, okay. I took a double hit there. Not how I thought that was going to go down. Ah. Now that you mention it, I think I've heard of Anna Music. I will say also, the Nightcore scene is kind of alive and thriving. 
I get a lot of that from TikTok. And I'm not even talking like new nightcore shit, but like they'll they'll like make like some some classic nightcore track from like I don't know, early 2000s. It'll start like banging on TikTok for no reason randomly. And I never really listened to nightcore much when I was younger. A little bit in middle school, but like the the vast majority of it was like the offspring, like you're gonna go far, kid. Nightcore, like I was bumping that. A little bit, of monster. How should I feel? Creatures lie here, looking through the window. That that shit too. But I was never fucking with it heavy. I, it's definitely something I've gotten into a bit more as I got older. Monster. How should I feel? That song, that song goes so hard. I got like five versions of that song on my playlist, bro. And they're all, they all get skipped if someone else is in the car. There's like a, there's like an edit with like Darcy Amphibia and it's like really shittily lip synced. I saw it once on Twitter. It's like when Darcy first wakes up and she starts singing monster. She starts singing that. I, I've never been able to find that edit ever since. I saw it once, never again. I'm, I'm very much a, uh, a Daft Punk noob. send it to you i could probably like i know a person who could probably help me find it shout out avery arsonist frog i say hey do you have that one darcy edit to the song monster i think i tried to find it and all i could find was like find it with like this the skillet song i i feel like a monster you know that song oops Let's go, Avery. Avery, my goat. He tried to cancel her every every week. You'll never take out my goat. You can't stand Vocaloid or, or Nightcore? What? Why these days? Did you get burned out on it when you were younger? Too much? Listen to too much Nightcore? I don't listen to much Vocaloid right now. I, I actually did kind of fuck with Vocaloid heavy in uh, high school. And then I got uh, some Project Diva game for this, whichever one is on the Switch. And I played that for like 30 hours and I like added a lot of tracks to my playlist. Some good ass. I, I like Vocaloid. Like I was never crazy into it, but like, I fuck with it. I do. Piece of cake, baby. The multicolored dashing thief ribbon. So the song that uh where where I was first introduced to the uh the uh the term Thimbo is Scary Monsters and Nice Whites colon three. And it is a uh, a song that has been it's a song with lyrics that has been like Vocarood to uh, the tune of Scary Monsters and Nice Rites by Skrillex. Used to be so fun, used to be upset. That is like, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? It goes hard. It's a good ass song, for sure. Dark space and the great meteor. Let's go. Too much of it. <laughs> Roblox. I missed the Roblox wave. I really did. I've said it once. I'll say it before. I feel like Roblox is the great divider amongst like elder and like the older and the younger end of Gen Z. 
Why are you saying Final Fantasy 7? Did I say Final Fantasy 7? What did I just say? Oh, okay, okay. I thought I'd monitor something. And it's a good thing I did. I'm thinking of the sparkless distress signal over there. I don't know what kind of trouble they're in, so I'll come with you. Thanks, Prof. The platform will take you where we need to go. Come on, let's hurry. Give me something to throw. Oh. Okay. Got behind them. Treated it like I was King Dice, bro. <gasps> Sorry for the hiccups. Uh-oh, the distress signal is weak. I'm going to speed ahead. He died. They killed me! You will not interfere. Get that guy! This isn't good! The professor's been captured! We really need to hurry. You're older Gen Z and still remember Roblox? I don't really feel like you're older Gen Z like that though, if I'm being honest. How old are you? I don't know exactly. If you're comfortable stating. <laughs> Get rocked. Because I feel like I got a couple years on you. You're 22? I feel like that's middle Gen Z. What did I do wrong? We're restarting. What is youngest Gen Z? 15? That's a 7. You're, you're, on the, you're on the upper side. Sure, sure, sure. Listen, I just like to add a bunch of qualifiers to make myself feel unique, okay? I'm the only Gen Z that's doing it like I am. <laughs> if I'm not unique, then what's the point? If I, I'm basically exempt from any generational, you know, grouping. I'm, I'm, I'm basically here on a, on a spectrum on my own. Not a spectrum. Maybe a spectrum. <laughs> Maybe a spectrum. <laughs> Ow! Gotta kill all these guys. I missed one of them. That's the thing. If I lost out on a gym. Two years before you got on it. When did Roblox come out? I feel like I never even heard of Roblox until... 2015? Ish? I'm not a millennial. No. You were what was missing. <gasps> can this thing break? I it can! <laughs> hey, I still took that guy out, though. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it came out in 2006? What the fuck? When did it start popping, though? That's crazy. When did Roblox start popping? It was like 2006. Like, I was playing like Dragon Fable, like Adventure Quest. I never I, I never really got down with with uh, Roblox, not Roblox, uh, RuneScape or Club Penguin. I played a little bit of Club Penguin, but not that much. I, I preferred, <laughs> go figure non like <laughs> games where you didn't have to talk to people <laughs> or interact with them <laughs> or see them existing until I played Call of Duty. Then I was like, all right, we're gaming and I would talk shit and I would troll people as children do. Ouch. Not really hot. Ribbon dude is lucky he didn't get taken out with that, by the way. Right, the ship is kind of bumping and jumping right now. One hiss all it takes. 
Why did so you can't let it get hit at all, and you gotta take everyone out. Okay, noted, noted, noted. Yeah. Don't do that. I see Club Penguin abbreviated as CP so often. Why does every video game ha have to have a currency called CP, by the way? COD points. Uh premium currency you know like what 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 are we even doing what what even other combat points what else what what else are they cooking find a new one please for god's sake Doug. oh <laughs> I never really noticed that red little blast coming out the back. Didn't Yakuza have that? Every video game ever has CP in it. Why? <laughs> yes, Yakuza has CP. I don't even know what it stands for in that. <laughs> what does it even stand for? I did play a little bit of Toontown. Not much, just a little bit. Kill that guy. Get sniped. Now I gotta get it, bro. I gotta get a coin here. Or a, a sparkle gem. I saved him. I killed everyone and no, ro no rocks hit me. Excellent. Kill this guy. She has arrived. At least they put that sequence at the beginning of the level. Sequence is like that at the end of the level. And then if you like miss it, you gotta do the whole level again. It's such a pain, bro. There's probably a pose there I didn't see. Damn. Completion points? <laughs> oh, it doesn't have to be like this. She moves too quickly. You bitch! Oh! Sit down! Get him out of here. I'm sure the rescue mission. Embarrassing! I thought he said Lay's signal. Remember Lay? Everything was lay epic. Where that? Where, how'd that even start? <laughs> you remember Derp and Derpet? <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Double kill. Le epic derp. You're amazing. Thank you. Le, -E. That was a big thing in meme culture early 2010s. Let me on a uh, on um Friday. Open fridge. Nothing in fridge. Ten minutes later, open fridge. Les sad times like that. That's like a, you know, perfect rage comic like recreation. That shit probably exists. Oh, mighty sparkler. Hold on. I'm a natural at this. I was on damn LOL for five hours a day every day in middle school. I'd have to wait 10 minutes for a gift to load and I'd sit there and I'd do it, too. Yikes, buy me some time. Oh, what? Oh no. I hope it's okay if they hit. Okay, it's gotta be okay if they hit. There's no way you're able to stop all of them there.
Hey, back off. Rose the Hacker Master, get that sparklet out of there. Bust them open. Ha. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> you good, bro? Alright, he's chill. He's chill. He's fine. <laughs> Now, do you want to play Minesweeper while it loaded? Nah, my attention span wasn't shot yet. I would just sit there, like, in silence as, like, a gif loaded. Maybe I'd check the comments. Never fear. We're heroes. Jarvis. Come, let us go. New Jojo Siwa. Danny, it's crazy. Danny, you're not going to believe me because I was actually, I, I had made a mental note when you dropped into chat to ask how you felt about the new Jojo Siwa. And I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. I've been seeing this shit unfold on my, on my TikTok for you page for a week. And I found myself today at work karma's a bitch i wish i never met her or however that shit goes it's uh, the song is trash it's horrible but it's wormed its way into my ears and i can't <laughs> karma's a bitch i should have known better that's how it goes that's how it goes we got the face paint era the aggressive humping era <laughs> she talks like Naruto. <laughs> it's a, it's a whole it's a rebrand and it sucks. And she definitely has some questionable company, sure. <laughs> Maybe I don't like her, but uh I'm I'm observing. Here's our big moment. We'll blast right through here. Am I supposed to be mashing? He's a projectile? Get ready. He's so excited to be thrown. <laughs> oh, sparked me. Yeah. Here comes a big one. We'll have to combine our powers. Amphibia? Nice. Thank you very much. You got a Stella ribbon, the multicolored mighty ribbon. <laughs> the Spider Man dancing JoJo? What? What the hell does that mean? You saw sapphics were collectively cringing? There was like a week period where the, the gay community was like, welcome Jojo, Jojo Siwa. And then like she settled in and, and she got comfortable. And then immediately like it, the, the turnaround was insane. She was disowned like at an alarming pace. She is just kind of annoying. The post Nickelodeon burnout in action. Was she on Nick? I thought she was just Dance Moms on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Justice prevails. Dia Hick. Now let's check out some of these things that we got for our little friend Stella. Hello? Hello? I'm not even clicking on the right thing, and I was clicking the wrong button. She was a Nick star? What was she doing on Nick? I know she, like, went to the Kids' Choice Awards and shit, but, like... That's for, like, awards. Not for shows, right? Yeah, this one's kind of fresh. The figure skater ribbon? Yeah, Stella's just so yellow that everything looks bad on her. 
Bro, the colors of my TV must be... All right, hold up. We gotta... I gotta fix this. The colors of my TV are so saturated, bro. It ain't right. It doesn't look like what I'm seeing on OBS. I look over to OBS, it looks so much better. Everything looks so much better. I'm looking at, at this, and it's just, like, so saturated. I can't... Like, it hurts my eyes, bro. The color is set to 70. Bro, I just turned it down to 60. It's so much better. 50 is a little... Maybe too dark? I don't know. Let's see what we're looking at. Bro, the game looks so much better. I can't believe it. Tent? We'll leave that at zero. Color temperature normal? Sure. What sharpness should it be at? 40 or 50? It was on 40 by default. What is sharpness? I'm waiting to see if it has any effect. Maybe in my menu? Alright, I upped the sharpness all the way to 100 and it's hurting my eyes to look at the screen. Oh my god. Leave it at 50? Sure. I watched Adventure Time with these bum-ass settings, too, by the way. That show was so bright it hurt to look at. <laughs> so was Smiling Friends, which I just finished season one of. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I watched 14 seasons, bro. Just like that. Why did I do that? The self-afflicted damage to myself. This game looks so beautiful now, bro. Oh my god, the colors, they look good. <laughs> the dark depths and the swirling currents. Let's go. The new Smiling Friend season? I ain't seen it yet. How long have I been doing that? Bro, you can see it every time I, I boot up the screen. That's so dark. Bro, this was like neon purple for me. It's still it's still brighter than what's on the OBS, but it's like palatable to my eyes. So it's fine. You know, I think I did it because KH1 actually. KH1 uh ha had like weird darkness with its port. It was like really oddly dark for no reason. Like I couldn't see anything on the screen. So I think when I played KH1 like 2 years ago <laughs> I, uh, sorry, more like a year and a half ago, I guess. When I played KH1, I think I destroyed the settings on my TV, and I just left it like that. <laughs> oh my god. She was on Nick after Dance Moms? I didn't even know. But, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Why the hell was season one of, uh, Smiling Friends 8 episodes? What the f- Why? That entire- you can watch the whole season in under an hour and a half. That must be the singer! I did watch, uh, season one. I wrapped that up. Gonna be watching Smiling Friends Go to Brazil here real soon. Gotta get in the middle? I'm missing stuff. I just missed so much shit. Hopefully it's just coins. Or do they loop? <laughs> it popped. There we go. The singer! I'm hotter. I've- how- What do you mean I've missed one? What do you mean? I missed one. It's nine with the special, yeah, but the special came like months after season one aired. Have you seen it, Ariel? It might interest you. It's called The Smiling Friends Go to Brazil. Have you seen that? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
There's not even a joke there. There's nothing funny. There's nothing clever. It's just like Brazil mentioned. The fans said smiling friends come to Brazil and damn it, they did. Help me. So we're just going to save the singer last. Absolutely. That's the singer. Make sure we get all the top plans. That one. Dude, that one 100% has the sparkle gem in it. You know it's a troll episode? I wouldn't really say that personally. Oh look, the fish have their own idol animation. Is it not coming again? It's Ribbon Lord? The, but where's this gem? When I get to the trench, swim through it, not over it. What trench? She gives me one right now, and it's number two. Wait, she didn't even give me one right then. She did, yeah. The whirlpools are getting stronger. I, I have legitimately no clue where it is. Are they a troll? What, 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 what is happening? When you get to the trench? What trench? I don't see no damn trench. A trench? Swim through it, not over it. What the hell are we talking about here? I'm arrived. Ignore that. You get nothing out of that. That one's empty every time. Get these first. Get that! That's fish! Can you move this? Wait for him. I'm, 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 I'm. Is there, is there a spotlight? You can go for. It's just insulting, man. <laughs> Give it to me. Thanks. Let me leave. Fish, get down here so I can leave. Mystical. Mystical. It's crazy. Also means that the ribbon guy is way easier to get than I thought. 
I thought it gave you like 0.2 seconds of that shit being on screen. <laughs> I for real thought that is what the game was offering. I thought it came into the... Bro, I didn't even get to see his dialogue. He's on screen for so long. You have such a long chance to get that guy. Oh my god. You're quoting Finding Nemo? <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen Finding Nemo. But I get you. I, 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 now that you name drop Finding Nemo, it's coming to me. I see it, yeah. Holy shit, bro. We're gonna get a beautiful duet with this lovely uh, icon here. This mermaid. Do you guys ever see the real life mermaids on like TikTok? They're like ladies who like work at like uh They like work at an aquarium or something. They have a tank where they chill out in. Those giant whirlpools are the cause of this. Yikes! You have to deal with these whirlpools. I think I know what to do. Everyone, lend us your help. A whole squad pulled up. Yo, pink turtle. If we sing, the water should settle. Quick, get on. Let's calm the waters by singing. Swim this way now, we laugh and we play now. Yo, she's bouncing them back at me? Slow down, mama. Four of them. Oh. Gotta dial in real quick, bro. Can't fuck up here. Let's go! I missed one. That should be good enough, right? It's not. I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> Generous game, generous. Beautiful. I love that there was actually you know, like no enemy in this one. It was just like there's an evil whirlpool that is like clearly being caused, but there, like there's no evil character. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Multicolor turtle could be pretty pogged. Hmm. Looking like this Saturday stream is going to be pretty short, you guys, by the way. Because, uh, not Saturday. <laughs> I'm in, uh, this, uh, Wednesday's stream of, uh, Adventure Time in the Nameless Kingdom. I'm going to start it early, but, like, I got to end stream at, like, 1.30, unfortunately. So I got to take my grandma somewhere. <laughs> We were robbed of Sour Bunch Siren. Real. So real, actually. But yeah, I gotta be somewhere at 1.30. So, uh... Or I gotta leave at 1.30. So I'm gonna start stream at, like, probably 10 a.m. on Wednesday or something. Just start super early. Which one do I want? I wanna do the fucking detective and get that shit out of the way. <laughs> Let's go. BFL in the morning? Sure. Why not? <laughs> K 
can't believe they took Sierra Mist away from us. Hmm, interesting. The Detective Sparkler must be here somewhere. We should ask around. You never know where we'll find clues. Huh? The Detective Sparkler? <laughs> nope, sure haven't seen him. Why would they be here? Look around. Just your normal, everyday, peaceful museum. Bro, you're sus. You're either sus, or lying, or stupid. Is Starry not the same thing? That's a good question, because I'm not going to be buying Starry to find out. If it is, they lost me for life. Sierra Mist was a go-to. Never again. Brand loyalist. To Sierra Mist specifically. Did you hear? The Detective Sparklers joined up with Madame Grape. Isn't that great? So really, you can just take it easy now. No need for you to do anything at all. You sussy butter. It kills here, I missed? Yeah, like a year ago. Well, I sure I tried. Is everybody a, a, a fake lie? What's even over here? Sparkler, what's that? I never heard of it. And there's certainly not one of them trapped here. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Nose of truth. Cracked mural. Disguise mask rendered in stone. I see. A treasure chest. Let's open it. Alright, thanks for the money. But give me the goods. It's only money? Where are all the sparkle gems? Oh. Oh, geez. Where are the sparkle gems? Where are the. Where's the ribbon? <laughs> Getting spooked. Really? Nothing? Weird. One, four. Oh, great. A golden ticket. It's the unknown. Just in case anything happens to me, I'm leaving this note behind as a guide. The central door will open once exhibits with the shared element are examined in the proper order. You must already have shown impressive skill to get this far. I posited it. <coughs> You can solve this. <laughs> Good luck, Detective Sparkler. It's a message from Detective Sparkler. Which means we'll probably find them, or at least be one step closer to the edge because I'm about to break. Let's check out the exhibits and find any of the shared elements. Anything with a nose. Wooden bird carving. King's sarcophagus. The Pota water urn. What the hell's a water urn? Fossilized shell. King sarcophagus too. It's a shared element, huh? Well, it's not those little round things. Get the hell out of my sight. Uh -huh. Almost got you there. Good. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Blue crystals. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yellow crystals. Nothing of interest here. Nothing to see. Move along, will ya? <clears throat> Get the hell out of my face. Uh -huh. Another feet down. An urn that holds water? 
I was under the impression that an urn, like, by definition, was for, like, the ashes of the dead, though. If it's an urn that holds w water, is it not just a jar or a jug? Or a pot? It's just a type of jar? Yeah, a type of jar that holds ashes, right? Hold up. Let's see what's popping with urns. It's cremation. 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 Urn for ashes, 2023. Alright, let me look up urn definition. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro. Looked up urns and it said urns for kids was the autocomplete. Damn. They know me? <laughs> Kill those kids. <laughs> y'all, we've talked about this before, but it's been a minute. Where do y'all stand on the new newfangled urns? Not urns, cremation? Where they put you into, like, warm water and you just, like, dissolve in into, like, into paste? And it's supposed to be the eco-friendly version of cremation? <laughs> Ooh, I just cleaned up in here, so don't touch any of the statues. Get him out of here. They put you in like the hot water iron lung looking contraption. It's not like boiling or anything, I don't think. I think it's just warm. Oh, okay, we're on a different puzzle. I think we're a little ahead, more ahead than we needed to be. You think got a number two? Sure, why not? Gumi, put him in a contraption. Put him in the machine. Strike that bitch. First things first. Booped. Booped and bopped. Second thing, second. This thing. The pink crystal. St um, Steven Universe. Am <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I right, gamers? Now I know where four is, but where's the number three? What happens if I just hit four off rip? Will they hurt me? Yeah, that shit sucked. Y'all see that video that like... I don't know where it was. It might have been like... I think it was somewhere in Europe. There's like a concert and everyone in the crowd had like green laser pointers and a plane started flying overhead. And they all just, like, thousands of people shown their laser pointers up at the fucking... <laughs> up at the the damn... the plane in the sky? Like, all at once? Insane. Why the hell they do that, bro? The hell's the matter with them? Where's number three? One of you got a, a three on the back? No, because you just go you, when I touch you. There's not even an option to get a strike of intuition on them. Are you turned around? No. That would be stupid. Where the fuck is number three? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just gonna have to start, like, throwing 
fucking strikes of intuition out, bro. If I die on the on the detective level, like I'm gonna keep it real. I don't think uh I don't think there's any coming back from that. That's not even intuitionable. Let me look at this. A shared element or examine in the proper order. One, two, three, four. I've only seen one, two, and four. I'm gonna just start throwing them out. It is a baby game. I, there's no three. It's one, two, three, four. Bro, bro. Maybe behind them? Oh, whoa, what's this? <laughs> what the fuck? I just fell. <laughs> Anything on the back? Bro. I'm... What's happening? Do I need to trigger this first? Maybe? Maybe I'm just getting too advanced. I'm going a little quicker than I should be. I assume that this was a separate puzzle. Maybe it's the same puzzle. It was the same puzzle. See, I, I, I thought this was a different puzzle. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought I was getting too ahead of myself. I was like, oh, I gotta go back. Get into the last puzzle. What a dumb idiot, bro. What a dumbass. I'm still a fetus. Do I look like a fetus? I probably do kind of in a fucked up way. That is 100% progression. What is that, like... Mandatory progression? What is, what is this stepladder over here? Oh man, I shouldn't have stepped on that. What an idiot. Oh, never mind. It's goaded. It's the Ribbon Lord. Help, I'm stuck. This thing looks familiar. Does someone leave it behind? How do I help you, brother? Oh, we gotta get these going right. What did that just turn? I'll hit them all once and see what that does for me. It's multifaceted. Did you hear that sound? It came from upstairs. I'm just... <coughs> I'm so goaded. This is actually kind of good. I actually kind of like this detective level. The detective levels weren't bad, but they were like on the weaker side of the spectrum. This one's kind of fun. I was really wondering how they were going to do this. <laughs> Like, this and the mermaid. No, 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 this and the, the cooking one were like my curiosity. What did you do? Uh, your mom, am I right? Play your favorite Martian. Doing your mom, doing, doing your mom. All that for one sparkle gem? I feel like that shit took me like 20 minutes. Detective, it is I. Aww. Junior detective, what are you doing here? Uh. Clearly, I am seeking the detective sparkler, just as you are. I don't trust him. And I've deduced that they are trapped in this very room. Aww. Alas, I've run into an issue. There appear to be four detective sparklers. I must ask you to find the real one. 
We shall meet again. Huh? Junior isn't going to stick around and help. That was surprising. I didn't think we'd run into Junior here. Mm. Not, he's not real. None of them are the real one. On it. All right. I'm the real Detective Sparkler. Hurry up now. Use a tuition strike. Excuse me, sir? I think it's Orange Nose over here. He looks calm and collected. I'm the real one. Uh, the real Detective Sparkler, that is. I'm glad that you finally made it here. I've been through a lot since Madam Grape captured me. Time we escaped. Hold up, he's kind of cooking. It is Madam Grape. I need not say anything. You've used skillful deduction this far. Now I'm sure your intuition will lead you to the truth. I guess that the evil people would know who Madam Grape is. I'm the real Detective Sparkler. Get me out of here and we can solve this case faster than you can say deception. What the fuck? Did you just hear him? Did you just hear that audio? Went, he went, <laughs> so loud. And once we're done, what do you think of becoming my very first assistant? You got a junior detective, brother. It's this guy. Thank you. You've proven to be quite an astute detective. There wasn't a doubt in my mind you'd puzzle out the solution to that problem. Now then, let's make our escape. I am truly grateful. You surely are a superb detective. I could see it immediately. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> now let's address... Alright, uh, no, no more voices. No more voices. I had a thought to myself. Alright, uh... uh Escape this place. Okay. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Got a castle, globe, magnifying glass. A dead end. We'll have to find another way out. Let's look around and see if there are any useful clues to be found. I mean, this cog, probably. The cogs are usually pretty important. This is just a normal, everyday stop shine. This is a really, really big magnifying glass. Way too big to pick up. It's a globe. Think you can find the Sparkle Theater? That just reminded me of when I got really worked up about maps in Kingdom Hearts and how they don't make sense. And I was, like, literally thinking about that for, like, several weeks straight. I was like, how does San Fran Yokio have a map of the world if it's only one city as the planet? <laughs> and I was like, it doesn't make any sense. They have California. So does this world <laughs> that also takes... So does Monsters, Inc. world. What a nerd. That's like the lamest thing to get worked up about. Like, bro, just stop thinking about it. Play the game. AVGN moment? Why did no one punch me in the face about that? I would talk for like 10 minutes straight about how, how confusing it was and like trying to like cook up a theory or something, bro. What was I doing? A lot of books stacked up here. And if we look inside, ah, just as I thought, the content goes right over my head. That's a lot of papers. I wonder what's on them. Oh, oh they're all blank. Mm. Mm. It's a model of the museum. Would you look at the small details? They worked hard on this. Uh. Mm. It's a painting of a castle. I wonder who painted it. <laughs> mm. Nothing seems to be amiss. Perhaps we should backtrack and look for another route. Should we? 
That doesn't sound right to me. I think I'm getting punked right now, bro. Is there more dialogue for round two? No, it's all the same. I feel like he's lying to me, and I feel like I'm going to miss out on a sparkle gem if I go back right now. Oh. Oh, no, bro. All right, whatever. Maybe the need for the gear will make itself apparent. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Hmm, we should have returned to the room we came from, but how strange. Hmm. <laughs> it appears we have been pulled into some sort of mysterious space. There must be clues around here, though. Well, there's no magnifying glass. That's one difference. Start, I've taken a photo of the screen. It may come in handy as a reference. Where's the magnifying glass? That's the only difference. But let me investigate some, just in case uh, a gym. Okay. Or maybe the papers will have text on them. No, they're all blank. It's all the same. Magnifying glass it is. It does kind of stand out. Two rooms that are quite similar and a single door that connects them seem to be trapped between the two rooms, or so it would seem. There must be some clues on how we can escape. I the photo I just took up on the wall. Let's hope it's of some use. <laughs> Fucking this. But it's too big to pick up. Even between the three of us? What the hell? <laughs> Shit floated. It appears you solved the mystery. Well done. He did it again. He gets really loud. He goes, huh? <laughs> Why are you so loud, bro? Big money. Big guns. Big chains. More power. Uh. Easiest sparkle gem of my fucking life, bro. Come on! Uh -huh. Aha! Mm -hmm. Where's the challenge? BFL, you were stuck in the first room for 20 minutes. Okay, okay. Do we need to talk about it, though? <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Detective. This way, hurry. And if it isn't you, yeah, you got out here before us. Yes. Hmm. The exit is just this way. We must hurry. Actually, let's take a moment before we do. I'd like to ask you a few simple questions first. What? Uh, sure. Cross examination. As you know, the sofa in our office doesn't have a single cushion on it. If you're going to purchase a cushion, what color would you pick? What a weird question to ask at a time like this. What's well, a lie? He hid behind the cushion. You're meeting someone at 9 o'clock. When would you arrive? If you're meeting at someone at 9 o'clock, you get there at 9 o'clock. Peach is nodding. She's like, yep, yep. That's sure, sure, that tracks. I would be getting there at 845, but that's just me. <laughs> One final question. What do you think about this Grape character? Uh, Madam Grape. Uh, I mean... Enough of the silly questions. We need to hurry to the exit now. 
Very well. We have all the answers we need. What was 9 o'clock? What did 9 o'clock just do for me? I know purple. Because he's a grape. Dog, your fate. Who's a, who's accusing the de detective there? Who's accusing the real detective? <laughs> Junior's always early to a meeting. True exit stands before us now. What did nine o'clock have to do with anything? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thank He's closed. So Thank you so much. Ooh, that could kind of look good for Stella. Because I kind of like the yellow on him now. And I think the darker yellow would be the arms. Hold up, we might be cooking. It's like a mustard yellow brown. Kind of yellow. Fake <laughs> memories of the cushion. <laughs> Holy shit, this shit runs deep, bro. Mm. <laughs> Deductive reasoning at its finest. See you never, bozo. Oh yeah, I forgot about the mermaid. Yo, multicolored detective does look good. Oh, wow, these are actually both really good. We'll go for Trans Stella. Oh. Now, let me go get my grandpa's eye drops real quick. I'll be right back, you guys. And then uh, we're going to bang out this video game. Going to do the damn thing. Give me one minute.
Got a beverage. a glass of sweet tea but I I put it in the G fuel container I don't want to accidentally knock it over and spill sweet tea everywhere so I'm not drinking G fuel <laughs> G fuel <laughs> it's sweet tea <clears throat> Promise. No Alki. That was only the debut. It was a special occasion. Who's banging the game? Not the game itself, I mean. The Dark School and the Twisted Fate. Let's peep it. What is this? <laughs> I didn't even check what game mode this is. Kung Fu? Is this our last one? This might be the last one. No, I think there might be one downstairs. Uh, yeah, we never did ice skating. Uh, I think it's Kung Fu, then ice skating. These probably run a little quicker than the... Well, I, I don't know. Ice skating is probably pretty coordinated, but off the more puzzly ones. An ominous presence. I mean, right off rip, I'm seeing... I'm seeing what you're doing to me. See, it's so much quicker. It's so much quicker. This is the pacing I want, baby. Like, I don't... I don't dislike the detective stuff. It's just so slow. Same with the uh, mermaid, right? Even though mermaid level two is pretty goaded. Really, they're trying to stop us or something. I don't know. I didn't read that. I walked into him. I've been kind of... I don't know, had the desire to do like a drunk stream or something. But, uh... I can't really do that because of the grandparents, so... It's always fun when I get the chance to do that. <laughs> when was the last time? October? <laughs> for uh the quarry a lot of fun Let's get ignorant i do think that the the uh, what is it the life is strange drinking game I, that would give me like people that would have people like concerned for my well-being if i were to do that which, like, might be kind of epic. Take a sit for every hella. Oh, that would be pretty epic. Because I did do the Life is Strange drinking game for Before the Storm years ago, before I ever played the game. So I had played... Uh, I had been in a room where Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 1 had been played. But I did get blackout drunk. <laughs> What am I supposed to do there, exactly? I did get, like, straight up blackout drunk. Oh my god. And, like... Being blackout drunk on stream sounds scary to me. What if I said something... <laughs> bad? <laughs> Makes me a little nervous. Cause I feel I I have a fear that I would be like, oh man, it would be really bad if I said this, and then I would think that, and then be like, guys, wouldn't it be so bad if I said this, and then I said something horrible? <laughs> you might rock with it, Ariel, but I mean, the general population. I definitely missed a, a gem here. The Kung Fu Sparkle has been captured. 
Hire a network TV sensor ready to bleep. I could run it on the 30 second delay. It's like the lowest uh, latency. But then I would also have to have the foresight to know that I said something bad and in stream. Have a handler. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> God knows with Life is Strange too. I, I mean, also Life is Strange One. God knows some of the stuff that could come up. Whoa! What? They're gonna kill me. Get your bitch ass out of here! She, 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 she. What are you doing, bitch? Get him out. One down. Can you give me a heart? Thank you. Feats of Fury. Get him out. The gay bat is the sensor. <laughs> Not too shabby. He has <laughs> instant transmission. <laughs> Flying gay bat to my house so I simply so I can stream Life is Strange drunk. I'm not going to lie. It would be lit, though. <laughs> Maybe that'll be after the PS5 fund. The Life is Strange drunk stream featuring Gay Bat fund. <laughs> the game empowering software bleep. I don't know where I could have missed this uh this thing. He's still alive. Gotta kill this guy. Here he comes. Brace yourself. Wow. Whoop. We've seen through your movements. We'll finish this with one blow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the feet doing a kung fu kick when his legs are literally just feet. On the bottom of his body is a really good bit. Thank you. <clears throat> Multicolored Kung Fu Ribbon. The multicolors of this Kung Fu Ribbon are really something to be admired. I saw the multicolors of this Kung Fu Ribbon and I could not believe my eyes. See ya. Where you go off to, friend? Strong technique is a key on the path to mastery. Okay. Throw me back in, chief. <clears throat> Number 15. I totally forgotten Chills was in season one of Smiling Friends. They gotta get Buff Corel on there. You would not trust yourself as <laughs> as the babysitter. Abat would probably encourage me. Be like, PFL, say this. Abat would get me hella canceled, dog. I laugh about it. Gay Bat would be like typing slurs on their phone and showing them to me, get, trying to get me to read that shit out loud. I can see it in my mind's eye. Ouch, bitch. 
go. You sucker. Shout out invincibility. It saved me from taking another hit there. If you were drinking, you probably would. Yeah, but you ain't supposed to own up to that one, dog. Supposed to at least deny it. Like, at least pretend like it's not true. Y'all ain't never seen me, like, real drunk. Like, I mean, I, got, I guess I was pretty drunk in the Pac-Man shit, but... I've been, like, fairly drunk on stream. Like, the quarry, I got, like, pretty drunk at the end, and... Atlantica, I guess I got kind of drunk. I don't really remember Atlantica. I know I was really bad at the rhythm game. <laughs> Maybe I got drunk for Atlantica. I don't really remember it too well. I did get kind of drunk one time on a Pokemon stream as well. Alright, I've been drunk on stream a couple times, but... Y'all ain't never seen me, like... Fuck. <laughs> Y'all ain't never seen the beef taco coming out whole, you know what I mean? That might be the result of the drunk. I mean, I remember swim this way, now we laugh and we play now. How could I forget? Oh, I see the sparkle now. I see it. What? Okay, I was about to get mad. <laughs> Moida? Come on, attack me. I guess I... I, w I was like barely drunk at all in uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Watch along. I got like a little buzz. Gay bat dressed as Palpatine, trying to bait me into shit. <laughs> Doesn't he say do it in like a funny little voice? I'm, I'm not like a Star Wars head. I feel like I saw a clip. He was like, do it. Do it. Was that a meme or was that real? That was real. You forgot I drank during what? The Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, I think I talked about it at the beginning and you weren't here yet. And then you showed up like right as we were about to start. And you were like, BFL, you're being weird tonight. It's like, I'm, I'm, drinking, I'm drinking eggnog. Nice, I got that off that time. The perspective on that one is what tripped me up last time. Give it to me, brother. Oh, wait, I got pretty drunk during Splatoon once, too, I think. I mean, I keep, like, adding onto the list, but it's still, like, a very a handful of times. <laughs> you know, the list keeps getting bigger. But it's still, like, barely ever. Ouch. Switch it up on me. Damn, bro. You remember the Splatoon one? Yeah, because I just like talked about cartoons and like young Sheldon. Just talked about like a pup named Scooby Doo for like an hour. Was it a time period where I was like kind of actively trying not to talk about cartoons on my ch on this channel very much? Because uh I was at a period where if I got started, I wouldn't be able to stop.
Whoop, whoop, whoop. I like the echo on that. <laughs> Crazy how time flies. I guess. Thank you. That's pretty true. True. When did I create this channel? February 3rd, 2022, huh? Damn. What's the first upload on this channel? Like, luck be a landlord part one. <laughs> yeah. I've actually been thinking about booting up Splatoon and just like playing it a little bit in my off time. Like not on stream, just like playing leisurely a little bit for fun. Cause I like that game. Like I actually, I did play it a, 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 a on a couple of sessions off stream by myself. Uh, what the hell else are we missing? Ninja. Of course, let's go. Recommend side order, but yeah, then I'd have to pay for it. <clears throat> if it came with NSL, then like maybe, and even then still probably not. <laughs> but uh, paying for it, nah. What's that sound? Is the sparkler here in danger? Good question, Stella. You tell me, dog. I never did the DLC. For what, Splatoon? Oh my god. And now you will meet your doom. What an unfortunate series of events. A series of what? Ninja. Whoa. I see you. Number one. Side order does look pretty cool though from what I saw. Like I'm not gonna be like a hater or nothing. It look it look cool. Look like a fun action game, uh, action game, uh, roguelike adventure, you know? Look like cool stuff to me. I am in your debt. Your technique it is very impressive. You'd better hurry out of here now. Let's head for the tower. You may find our exit there. Come. Don't gotta tell me twice, brother. Oh shit. Oh. Through here. I feel, why do I feel like I, I missed one? Cure shadow technique? Oops. <laughs> How did bro do that? I can't do that. Best I can give you is this. Bro's using a strats I ain't never seen before. Whoa. Am I supposed to be here? <laughs> Ooh. Now. Careful now. Wow. Oh. That looks like progress. That sparkle gem. Epic, epic, epic. We bounce, we bounce. Cannot jump over a bush. I never did the main story either. D damn sure it didn't. <laughs> 
I did salmon run. I did online. I did like two ranked matches and uh, everything else was just like turf war. I did like what was, was it two splat fests? I did. I just like turf war. It's simple. It's fun. That's the main draw for me. I did enjoy salmon run too. Salmon run was dope. Salmon run's pretty good. I heard everyone talking about how good Salmon Run was, and I was like, it can't be that good. It's just like a PvE mode. It can't be that good, really. Uh, Salmon Run is some good shit, bro. Salmon Run is hella tight. Salmon Run was, like, high-key hard, too. Like, Turf War is where the children go to play. Salmon Run is where the men are made. We're almost there. Uh-oh. Well, in that case... Oh my god. Bro's got the ultimate ninja arts. It's kinda crazy. Like the other, the other ones, like it feels like we're on par with, or like help, we might even be better than them. This dude's whipping out some advanced techniques. It's crazy. My goaded feet. Oh great, a runner second section. Your escape ends here. The two of you will crumble to dust. Nuh-uh. You will. A test of resolve. Do not waver. Let's go. Gets crushed by a rock. What's up, yo-yo? This is the part where I'm going to miss a uh, gem, and it's going to be annoying. By the way. Oh, those are enemies. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Another one? Oh, is this a boss? Ooh. During a running segment? <laughs> uh oh. Kunai out. You'll prevail if we work together. You will pay for what you have done. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> he took his ass out. Did I ever fight the other two Salmon Run bosses they added? Thank you. I don't think so. You mean like after Kohozuna? I, I don't think I ever even beat Kohozuna. And I'm surprised I know his name. If I do. I just noticed it said to be continued there. Does it always said that? Maybe it always did. <laughs> Ah, thanks, Yo-Yo. <laughs> Goodbye, Ninja. Mm -hmm. Your ninja skills are unparalleled. Damn, he even left with some, like, kind words. The dark ice and the shadowy stage. This one kind of had a lot of sparkle gems, huh? I guess that's the kind of the deal with the skating ones, though. Maybe not right now, though. That's the thing. If I return to Splatoon, it's probably just going to be to play by myself. Uh, which, I, like I said, I have been continuing. There's just, like, so many games. I'm getting into JRPGs now. I want to play more Yakuza. I, I'm balls deep in Zelda right now. And there's new releases coming up. Like, it's just... I ain't got enough time. I love his character portrait, Stella's. So much. <laughs> The little pieces looking like hair. So cute. Christmas ornaments floating all around. What's going on, friends? Get out of me. Ouch. This is weird, actually, because 
The ice skating levels are always so like community based, like with your your team, right? Your squad. It's also just five here. It's not any more than any of the other ones. I don't know what I was cooking. Oh, ribbon boy. <laughs> they gave him vertigo. <laughs> but uh, I'd be surprised if we're like chilling, like big chilling with numerous thetes in this. I guess we were in the uh, in the Sentai level, right? Does Zelda his uh, allegations? I mean. You want me to lie, bro? <sighs> We're just gonna restart. We're just gonna restart. Is Zelda Twink? No, Link is the Twink. <laughs> Zelda is the princess. <laughs> that's the biggest mistake. That's a, that's lesson number one, dog. <laughs> Kill him. That's all right. Hello. Yeah, Link is gonna be Tom Holland in the live action movie. <laughs> oh my god, who are they gonna cast as Link? And Zelda. I feel like I've heard, uh. You can skate off the edges? I feel like I've heard people say uh, Hunter Schaefer for Zelda would be cool for live action, but I don't really know how old she is. Mm, damn, that's tough timing. I as hell. Because you don't really want a... I don't know. You don't want Zelda too old. You don't want her too young either. I wonder what they're going to do as far as ages. It'll be weird, I feel like, if Link is like a 12-year-old kid in the Zelda movie, right? Like It works in a game, but... Doesn't really work in the concept of a... Uh... Doesn't really work in the film, right? I, I wouldn't feel so. Do you think the movie will show the Gerudo? Maybe. Two-act structure? What, like, Ocarina of Time with it? Maybe. Look, it's the Sparkla. We'll save you. Oh, dear Stella, you came for me. Ooh, I love the icicles falling in tune with the music. It's fresh. You like that sparkler are here to trip me up. Yeah, see, we don't have, like, little friends with us this time. Oh, shit. Yo, I'm gonna die here. I died. <laughs> I died real quick. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, I just went into the negatives on my coins. Okay. <laughs> I was like, they gonna make me start over from the beginning because I went in the negatives? Here is Stella. Oh, Stella's close with them. 3D Cuphead demo. I've never heard of such a thing. It's like a fan thing. I did see like a uh, AI generated ass like gaming article about like a uh, new stunning Ocarina of Time remake will blow your mind. It's just like an Unreal Engine <laughs> garbage. It looked horrible. <laughs> Why do people like that, man? I feel the people who love who who like those uh, ugly ass like Unreal Engine demos that just have like no what? Oh yeah, spin on them. <sighs> Cutting it close. They have like no artistic style or anything. I feel like it's the same people who like 
watch interpolated 60 FPS anime. Oops. Shit, what's the yellow one? Jump. Oh, damn, that's tight timing. Are we Gucci? Get out here, let's stun on this hoe together. Do I gotta get you first? No? Do I just do it myself? Pokemon Ranger? Your grace has touched my soul. <laughs> Welcome out, Icon. Thank you so much for helping me. We really must perform together sometime. Big boss. Icicle Rush? Is it that musical platformer game? Uh, Yo-Yo? Ah, we're performing together already. How much have we got? Three more gems? We didn't get a gem for beating that guy. Okay. Billy Bust Up. Yeah, that's what it's called. I think you would have got a gem for beating that guy. I, you can't jump over that? Okay. Oh, you'd be able to jump over it. We're going to get smashed, bro. What? Do I go up there? No. I'm so cooked. I'm so cooked. That's fine, that's fine. Her crystal's coming up anyway. Have I played that? Oh yeah, I forgot Daniel Ingram works on that? Did I know that? I don't think it's out yet, is it? Maybe it is. Can I light those up? I don't think I can interact with those at all. I'll ignore him. Oh, that's... A joint move when the snowflake appears underneath you. It's like a bigger AoE spin. Got it. There's a short demo. I've been seeing it on TikTok for like a minute. There we go. Okay. Oh. Caught in an edge. Get rocked. Did I miss one? I feel like I did. I did not. Really surprising they don't give you one on the mini boss. Is there a murder all feats? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what? What? What the fuck? What happened? She wasn't even there. She wasn't even there to give me a prompt. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> what the hell? Such tight timing. That's kind of crazy. Doo -doo -doo. A second crowdfunding campaign? Getting live recorded music. I appreciate the idea of a uh, a musical platformer, so you know, I hope whatever they're going for works out for them. I think it's safe that I got that. I'm gonna still go for it just to be safe. Yep. Okay. Oh, you you got plenty of time. Mm. Hopefully you don't have to kill everybody. I think we're good. Smaller and smaller. Look like she's about to slam dunk on some hose. All right, cool. All right, same. We got the ribbon fella. 
You felt cheated? Thank you so much. Why, why, why do you why do you feel cheated? <laughs> it's not even out yet. Am I interested in playing the demo on stream? Nah, I ain't got time for that. Uh, I'm. I ain't got time for nothing, dog. <laughs> oh, there's so much stuff I'd like to do, but I don't have time for any of it. Pretty limited. The name and the clips you saw made you think it was Boss Rush. I don't know how they've been marketing it. I, like I said, I've just seen a couple of clips on uh, TikTok, so. Your performance was riveting. This final boss time? Madam Grape. Let's do it. Buster right in the grapes. <laughs> Give me the juice. Hold up. Oh man, I was gonna change Stella's fit. Whatever, I guess we're rocking Trans Stella for the <laughs> final boss. This is a power more potent than anything we've faced. I'm scared, but we can do it together. Okay, let's do it, Peach. We got the power of Sparkle on our side. Can you give me some of the Sparkle gems you collected? 30? That's light work, dog. That is light work. Come on. <laughs> Damn, rejection? What, bro? It's not working. Does Sparkle not work on this door? Good question, Stella. You tell me, dog. You're the bitch that lives here. Ooh, every, uh,. Wait, what are they called? I, I never remember these guys. Sparkla! Every Sparkla pulled up. Let's go. With their gym, with their badges. Mermaid girl don't make no sense. All you need now are our Sparkla spirits and our love for the theater. <laughs> Replacing our trust in you two. Thanks, fellas. Power up, let's go. Whoa. Yo, are we getting an outfit for the final boss? A new transformation? What was going on? Oh shit, big budget. Ooh. <gasps> Magical girl shit. Okay, dude, I was saying I wanted this at the beginning. Ooh. The Queen of Sparkla. Hello. The Radiant Peach. Dazzling. Ooh. Okay. She can fly? <laughs> She's got glowing hair. We got everyone's strength with us now. Let's go, Peach. This is cool. Stella, you kind of, you kind of some baggage right now, dog. I think we got this on our own. All right, the dark old dimension. The eyes should have stayed like that instead of just a flash. Write Nintendo about it, dog. Why are you telling me? What the hell do you want me to do about it? <laughs> Let's punch her right in her grissy. Okay. Ooh. This is like a, some high quality, high quality shit. We are back with the cutscenes, baby. Welcome to my glorious stage.
Wait. It's just like Danganronpa again. Ultimate despair. Shima said ultimate. <laughs> Holy shit, it's always Duncan Rampa. It's showtime. Stand up, slow cap clap in the theater. An ultimate swirly. I'm gonna blast this bitch up. Damn, stay out of the fire. Hold. Oh. Can I hit her in the face? I should probably be taking out the shield boys. Or are they immune? Oh, damn. This is cool. It is kind of Balan vibes. <laughs> I'm just shooting her with... I'm just straight palming her with energy blasts, bro. Alright, alright. What? I'll just tank the hit in favor of hitting you more, actually. I think that that's pretty worthy with the amount of, like, HP drops you get. Hold on, they got a damn train coming? <laughs> what the hell? All right, new phase. Get blasted, bitch. Is there gonna be, like, another phase or something? This feels like... I don't know, like, the whole game's been, like, platformy, so I get that they, like, maybe wanted to spice it up, make it a little different. But it's weird having a spin around... This? I don't know. It just feels weird. I don't dislike it or anything, it's just odd. Damn, that hits you, like, way early, the collision starts. That's huge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you hold down to charge? No. Okay. I'm gonna bust her last wing as soon as this one's done. Also, the fire is laggy. <laughs> the, the, the sparks are kind of laggy, bro. Alright, down the one wing. Train and helicopter? Get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, spam it. Get popped, Miss Grape. Oh, my God. Well, she's a soul, isn't she? <laughs> what happened to her? Is she dead? Is she the mask? Do we murder her? No, I liked her. She was pretty. Shouldn't we, like, investigate Madam Grape a bit? Uh, yeah, I mean... Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, we're just getting started, baby. She had to be dramatic. Dude, too soon. Much too soon to end things here. I haven't even gotten to the finale yet. Ooh. Now what? Real Madam Grape.
Do I have to do it without radiant form, though? Inserts disc, too. What the fuck is this? Did she destroy the theater? Or did we get teleported? Damn! Damn! What? <laughs> the, <laughs> the hell? It's a face and hands boss? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everyone sparkle. It's coming to all of us. Give me your energy. Such levels of sparkle are unprecedented. Hey, Ark, maybe now we'll get the permanent eyes. I never played Mario Galaxy. Is this shit kind of Rosalina-y? I don't know, the dress? And all the stars? I mean, I don't know, I don't, Luma, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm not cooking, I never played those games. So I only know her from Smash Bros, really. <laughs> they give you a controls prompt. <laughs> Hold B to attack. All right. Damn! Okay, this is kind of cool. <laughs> all right, all right. They they gave us a glow up from that first phase. I like it. I like it. Just blasting her with a hyper beam. Oh no, she learned how to block. Oh sh! I tried to go over too early. Damn, when do I hit you then? Nah, bitch. That's a loading screen. I've seen that before. I'll take a heart. I like that the loading screens are like I don't know like thematically like relevant in that way so it's like her power how it's visually represented that's cool Get that shit out of the way. She's getting cracked, bro. She's looking kind of gnarly back there. Oh, God. Whoa! Is there going to be even more, though? I mean, this feels like a pretty ultimate form. For Peach. <laughs> I just want to take her on with hand to hand combat, bro. Oh, shit. Right in my damn eyes. Get popped. Oh, you're done. Ew, neck hole. Whoa. <laughs> oh god, fly down her throat, bro. Oh. Get rocked. <laughs> I thought you were stronger. Ew. Are we totally ridding ourselves of this character, though? Or are we gonna leave some kind of...
Hmm, that was weird. Some kind of thread for a potential return. Interesting, uh, I don't know, interesting little focus there on the end. This, <laughs> oh fuck their theater. Wasn't the goal to save the theater? We did a dog shit job. Maybe the power of everyone's sparkle can help us restore it though. We're goaded. We're goaded. No one can compete. <laughs> Showtime, baby. Where's my real crown, though, by the way? And where's Toad? Hold up. <laughs> Toad was outside when the island got destroyed, right? No, for real, what happened to our Toad and Crown? What happened to them? <laughs> what happened to our Toad and Crown? <laughs> <laughs> then they get blown out of the beginning they just disappeared don't think about it i mean the the absence of the crown is like actually huge the toad is just kind of funny the crown is weird though isn't it maybe there's an, gonna be another cutscene for completion yeah so i mean uh yeah, General Thoughts is perfectly fine game that I, uh, I would say it was above average. It was good. I liked to play it. It's made me happy. And, uh, what else? <laughs> $60 feels kind of like a lot. I think $40 maybe would have been a little better. Um, performance is like kind of like weird. <laughs> is it because we're in Unreal Engine 4? Can Switch not hang hang with that? Uh, that? That sucks. But it wasn't like unplayably bad. It was just like, what are we doing now? Especially for a game that does feel so simple. Even though artistically it's very strong, I'll, I'll give it that for its presentation. The stage design and everything, the theming, F fire, fire. Maybe don't use Unreal Engine 4 or whatever we used here. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, like a good like 7 out of 10 game that I liked a lot. It made me happy. Came at a really good time. I mentioned that. You know, so deep in Zelda and Final Fantasy and all this crazy shit. Just throwing this on. Felt good. Cuphead. <laughs> Getting into something chill. What was I playing on Saturdays before this? Was it Cuphead? Oh, I played Bluey. Cuphead into Bluey into Princess Peach Showtime, of course. How could I forget? Beat the game. Yerp. Cuphead, Bluey, this. Saturday streams are fun. <laughs> Never know what you get. Saturday is like the wild card night, or it could be like anything. It could be like a real game, or it could just be like some random bullshit. I think Saturday... I wouldn't say they're my favorite because they're shorter and I did work that day. Saturday night streams might be my favorite if I didn't work Saturdays. Kind of tempted to skip this credits though. They're kind of long. <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> Who was what was that one game we played? Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Okay, we do get a little bit of epilogue here. Oh, okay. That one where they like put like their lawyers or like their sponsors or something in the credits. Wasn't it like the Kirby remake? They like put like their their lawyer. No, it wasn't that. It was something. Oh, there's our toad and our crown. Okay. <laughs> the hanging thread. You guys remember that game? What was that game? It was not Kirby, but Kirby was just like uh. Credit to original creators or something? I don't remember. Some game was like that. I don't remember what the fuck. Grape's probably here to stay. Uh, she's kind of mid. No, something I've streamed. Both Kirby Return and Prime Remastered did that? Damn. Maybe it was that then. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really care. How, how do y'all feel about, uh... Psh, 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 psh. Madam Grape. I like Stella. Stella's real cute. I think Stella has some power. Has a cute little funny mascot. But I don't know. Sparkle feels like a bit, uh... It, it feels like if, you know, Luigi's Mansion, you can always, like, go to... Like, wherever, right? Luigi's Mansion is like, oh, it's another... It's a haunted hotel. It's, you know, ghosts. Like, there's strong th themes there that can be, like, applied in, like, a multitude of ways. But it's like, what do we do with Princess Peach Showtime 2? I don't really see a Showtime 2, right? What I do see is perhaps a Peach spinoff that is in, like, uses this established cast... Feats maybe exist. Madam Grape is a thing. Maybe Stella is there. Like, we didn't really establish, like, you know, where's the EGAD here, you know? I, I do like Stella. I think Stella is simple and adorable. But I don't see how S Stella could be applied to. I mean, it could just be like, oh, Stella and Peach became friends, so Stella. You know, journeys with Peach on the next adventure, right? Peach one-off games. Yeah, I like I said, I don't like Luigi's Mansion got the one, two, three treatment. I don't see Princess Peach Showtime two. I see Princess Peach subtitle. You know, Princess Peach colon whatever. That's how I see Peach games going in the future, perhaps. Which is, is uh, kind of a, a mixed bag, maybe, because you don't have such solid theming. Like, this game, like, what's the theme of this game plays? But, like, it, it dips its toes into everything, right? And, which is good because you, you're always doing something fresh, but also you never really get to settle into anything or, like, get a, a too deep of an experience. So it has its pros and its cons. I think if uh, there is a Princess Peach 2, I guess I would say, just using that as like the, the title of the series, that may be uh, going a little bit less broad would be nice. A little bit less broad. But it seems like they want this to be the really like simple accessible game, which is like also part of the appeal. I don't know. We'll see. I'll play, uh, I'll play Peach 2 for sure. Gay bet, if you don't want spoilers, avert, 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 it's epilogue. <laughs> this might even be a completion cutscene. Oh, never mind. Okay. A new shop open. You can decorate the theater. Hide and seek challenge. What? Boss challenges. Okay. Was any of that that was just revealed to me a reward for completion? Or is the reward for completion a sense of... 
sense of uh completion. <laughs> The feeling of, of doing it, is that the reward? Maybe the dress, probably the dress, right? <laughs> Yay, Peach, you must have read my letter! Okay, so you sent us a letter. Okay. Everyone here wants to see more of your performance! Encore! Okay, okay. Did you perform for us in the Sparkle Theater again? <laughs> Hooray, thank you! There's more you can do here now as well, let's look around together. The Ninja Sparkla. I guess Princess Peach Encore would be a good title, perhaps, for a sequel. I'm so relieved that Grape is gone. Words cannot express my gratitude. Decorate and delight the visitors. I mean, we can buy it all. We got it all. We got it all, bro. Deck this bitch out. Also weird, it auto applies. You don't really get to decide where it goes yourself. The ropers are driving crazy in Magic Arena. <laughs> okay. I was a little lost there for a second. I was like, the ropers? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, well, well, well. This is a problem, isn't it? We're 15 short. Hmm. Maybe helping... Oh, see, this is the shit I've been wanting, bro. Ooh. Oh, special mighty the grape dress. Ooh. Okay, so finally, we get some fire shit. They lock it all towards the end, bro. Come on, man. Special Mighty goes hard. It's like Miss Frizz Core, right? Lovely. We'll rock the grape dress. Just a flex on that hoe after killing her. Yeah, ropers, there's like a rope in, in that, that functions as a timer in uh online card games and uh if they're wasting their turn they're like burning the rope Fantastic. it can be either they don't know what move to make or they're intentionally doing it to frustrate you and hearthstone uh i don't know about magic arena but in hearthstone people definitely let the rope burn just to like annoy you Oh, that's what that means? What did you think it meant? Oh, wow. Radiant actually kind of looks not bad on him. Well, deck us both out in Grape, though. Sorry, Trans Stella no longer real. We're both graped up. <laughs> All right. We're holding hide-and-seek challenges. Can you find my apprentices hiding in each stage? In each stage? Every stage in the game has a ninja? Yo, she looks so cool. Do, 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 do. Are there new levels in the album? Hold up, there's a whole fucking... Whole shit here.
Dark old boss, Disco Wing. There's three Thetes on each stage. Holy shit, bro. It's showtime, great. How do I fight the boss? Hmm. So do I gotta get all the feats on each stage before you fight the boss again? Because I could definitely... Oh, look at the disco wing here. Oh, is this where you do the boss? Oh, okay. We'll do the bosses here. Do, do, do. Get all the purple chicks before they escape. Hit Disco Wing without missing. Win the fight without taking damage. Okay. I, I assume you don't have to get all three at once, right? Ooh, we get cutscenes for it too. Ooh. Hello. Or is this the same cutscene as the first time? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a, a couple weeks. Why would they have this poster on the wall? Take it down, bro. Did we already kill this guy? Okay. Defeat all the purple chicks before they escape. Hit the disco wing with sparkle chips without missing. Okay. We could definitely do all three of these in one, uh... Ooh, okay. Did I just take damage? We could definitely do all three of these. I don't think I took a hit. Alright, blocking, blocking. And you flip it. I feel like not missing. Oh yeah, you do this. Okay, cool. Not missing one upside down is going to be mildly harder, I feel. Okay. I think we're kind of crushing. Just one more phase, right? Don't you do a little bouncy bitch or some shit? All right. I think instead of rolling, she's gonna bounce. No, she still just rolls. Okay. Now bounce? Oh, you big bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, we're Gucci. I gotta kill all three. I didn't miss. I missed. Okay. That sucks. That's really annoying. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. First one also counts as missing, even though both of them broke on the body. That's crazy. Well, there goes our fucking damage, and there's a guaranteed miss, and we we got none of them.
That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'll uh I'll come back to this sometime. What I'll probably do is uh I wanna play Pepper Grinder. I didn't know that they're gonna add fucking more collectibles to each level. That's kinda lame. <laughs> but uh what I'll do is uh I'll get the feats the like probably off screen off strain, the, the, the ninja feats. And then uh I'll do a stream and I'll do all the bosses. Doo -doo -doo. There's no floor five boss, so it's five bosses. I think five bosses. I really wonder what that final final boss is gonna be. I think five bosses going for all uh sparkle gems that could probably fill out a stream let me go see what the other uh, challenges are <laughs> don't cause time to rewind See, it's crazy because I don't even know what was causing Light to rewind in that fight. <laughs> I don't even know what was causing that to happen. Hold up. If I just go down into the basement, could I just fight the Great Lord? Avoid being hit by the paws or tail. Defeat it using only three mice. Was it only a three-hit boss? It took me a couple times to figure it out the first time. It might only be a three-hit boss, I don't remember. <laughs> Defeat Spot Lion with only striped orbs? What the fuck is a striped orb? I don't even, know what, I don't even remember that. This is floor four, right? Let's see if Grape is just fightable. Well, you have to assume if you get everything else, then uh, there's probably another Grape fight. Well, but would there be three Grape fights? You could just fight Grape. Grape the Grape must be phase two. Okay. I wonder if there's a third grape fight. There's gotta be. They wouldn't just have you fight her and she's the same fight. All normal sparkle gems. The Stella statue? I thought I bought that. Didn't I buy the Stella statue in the store? <laughs> I thought I bought that. Maybe I didn't. Hmm. Maybe I'll buy some souvenirs. I like that there's just like normal feats, big chilling. You know what? I tell you what. I'll probably just shelve Princess Peach Showtime for like a minute. And I'll we'll come back. I'll run through it again and I'll get the uh the feats and stuff on stream. We'll just do like another quick run through sometime. Rather than doing the feats on my own off stream and then in a couple weeks doing the bosses. Yeah, we'll just come back to this at some point. I liked it. No promises on when that'll be. But sometime. <laughs> It'll happen sometime. Nice little game. And I mean, shit, doing it that way, it's basically like two playthroughs. Gotta stretch that shit out, bro. Ugh. Yeah. Solid 7 out of 10. 
cool a cool amount of post game content. If uh I was just playing it as an average consumer, I'd be like, oh cool, more stuff. Oh my god, I gotta do the fucking cooking levels again. Oh I'd be like, oh cool, more stuff, more reason to keep playing. But since like I, I stream and I was like, shit, I had something planned for next Saturday, you know? <laughs> uh and I wasn't expecting all that. So is that kind of how Goodfield does it, man? Like Kirby's Crafted World slash Wooly World? You come back to it, you beat it, and then it's like, boom. More challenges everywhere. Bitch, you thought you got all the collectibles? Hmm. Did I say Kirby's Crafted Land? I, I, I might have made an amalgamation of, like, several video games. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. Interested in the future of Princess Peach titles. But, uh... Kirby's Crafted Land. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh, Wind Waker tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. What else? That's it. Yeah, Wind Waker tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday is gonna be a shorter stream. Adventure Time Zelda game. Starting early. Yoshi makes his collectibles and tasks and stuff pretty clear. Yeah. It does suck that I replayed all those levels so many times. <laughs> but I mean, I enjoyed doing it, so who really cares? <laughs> all right, everyone, have a good have a good one. Peace.